Hello everybody, Warm Racer 8 here. Today uh, I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to turn off directory indexes in your website. So let's, uh, let me uh, explain what I'm talking about here. So this, let's say this is your root folder of your website and in it you would typically have your, your index page and several subdirectories, folders where you keep your resources like images and uh, maybe JavaScripts or other types of scripts and, and uh, your CSS. So I guess the first thing you'd want to do is go go to your site and type in a path, say, your site name dot com slash images, and see if you get a directory index. And I'll show you what that looks like here. Let's just go to Google, and let's find, let's see, let's search for uh, index of slash images. End quote. Let's see what we get. So let me be careful what I get here. <laughs> Let's take a look at this one here. So this is what I'm talking about, a directory index. So typically, the most common way people protect their directories from being explored is just to put a blank index.html file or PHP or whatever in each subfolder. And then if someone was to try to navigate to that folder, it just brings up a blank page or if you have a redirect script or something like that. So you can explore and see all the different files that are in there. You can protect your scripts like this, some of them, uh, JavaScript, images, that type of thing you can, people can get anyway. But say PHP or if you're Java or ASP.NET, anything like that, you can protect these files from being explored and people from being able to download them. So instead of you putting a blank, let's say a blank page in each one of these subfolders like that, I'm going to show you how to create an HT access file with one line that will turn off directory indexes. So let's uh, open up a notepad or any simple text editor is all that you need. And we'll put a comment in here and to comment lines in the HT access we use the pound sign. Uh, we're just going to say disable directory indexes. And to do that we just type options. hyphen space hyphen indexes and that's it and then we'll save this file save as we want to save this file as a dot ht access and we'll save this in the root of our site and then FTP it up to our web server so we'll Let's see here, my folder was your site folder, and we've named it .htaccess, and we're going to save it in the root here. Save. So let's close that and see if it's in there. And there it is. Now we'll just FTP that up to the web server, and then anytime someone tries to access any of your subfolders that are below root, they, it won't allow them to do that. So I hope this has been a helpful tip. See you guys later.